Hey guys, today I want to showcase a Napoleon Central heat pump for cold climates. Uh, this is how it looks inside. We have the uh, 3 quarter inch flare connection for suction line 3 eighths of an inch for liquid line. We have our high voltage connected here, L1, L2 on the ground. And then for the low voltage, we have Y, B, which is up for reversing valve. And whenever you have a B on a heat pump, the B terminal it simply means that the heat pump is the reversing valve on the heat pump is going to be activated on the call for heat. Uh, we have the R and C, so basically four wires from the condenser to the furnace. Uh, the G wire is not used, these for defrost. If you have that option on your furnace to add, add that wire, it's a good thing to have. It's basically when the system goes on a defrost cycle during the heating mode in the winter time. Uh, the blower of the furnace stops working uh, for more comfort basically uh, but it's not mandatory so the four actual wires they have to connect is R, C and then Y and B which is for the reversing valve and the important thing about this Napoleon heat pump is that you, gotta, you, you have to know that the reversing valve on this heat pump activates on a call for heat okay so I've hooked up my gauges to it, uh, and here as you can see, uh, here are my readings. My, uh, the suction pressure is about 120, then the, the suction line temperature is almost 52, 51.7. The uh, uh, vapor saturation temperature, actual coil temperature is 40.3, and then the superheat is 11.7 on this, and it's an R14 refrigerant. My high side I have 328 uh, PSI for the high pressure side and then uh, the liquid line temperature is 90.2 uh, the liquid saturation of the condenser temperature is 102 and then the actual subcooling is 12 almost it's fluctuating a little bit but uh, my target uh, subcool on this is 12 so I we always want to make sure the target subcooling on the Napoleon 2 slash 3 ton heat pump which is the one that we are looking at is about uh, 12 degrees so uh, here are my reading for the air side uh, you can see the enthalpy on the supplier is 18.8 and 23.6 on the return side which is good which is fine uh, the wet bulb temperature is 55.7 and dry bulb temperature the supplier is 47.4 uh, sorry the wet bulb temperature on the supplier and uh, that's the relative humidity, 58% uh, on my return. Uh, I also want to talk about this dip switch adjustments on this Napoleon heat pump right here. So what does they mean? So dip switch number one is for the capacity. So if you turn that dip switch on, the system will work as a 3 ton heat pump. If you turn it off, it will work as a two-ton heat pump. So that's this one here. Uh, let me show you the dip switch number one. Let me get the screwdriver so it can make it easier. Okay. So this is a dip switch number one here. Right here. So if you turn it on, basically like flip it down, it will be like a three-ton heat pump. If you turn it off, it will be two-ton. Dip switch number two is for a defrost mode. So by having the dip switch number two on off position, it will be on a strong defrost mode. So for cold climates like in Canada, uh, we are here located in Toronto. So for cold climates, uh, it's highly recommended to have the dip switch number two on an off position for a strong defrost mode. If you turn it on, it will just go on a standard defrost mode. Dip switch number three and four are for uh, operation mode and I show you how it works. So that's the one I was talking to you about, dip switch number one. Uh, if it's in the off position, it works as a two ton heat pump. Uh, we have other series of Napoleon heat pumps that are four and five tons. So that basically say, says dip switch number one on a, on a two slash three ton heat pump. If it's, on, if it's in the off position, it will work as a two ton. And a four to five ton heat pump, it will work as a four ton and vice versa. And um, yeah, as you can see, if it's on the on position, 
it will work as uh, a Triton heat pump here. Then uh, we have the dip switch number two. If it's on an off position, it's uh, on a strong defrost mode in the heating cycle. And on an on position, it will be standard defrost. Then we go down here for dip switch number three and four. So as you can see, if dip switch number three is off and four is on, it will be going on an energy saving mode. If it's dip switch number three is on and four is off, it will go on a strong mode. So basically when you turn the air conditioner on, the heat pump ramps up pretty quick to bring the temperature down as quick as possible. And then dip, if both of them are in the off position, it's just in a standard mode. In this case, I just put it in the standard mode. But it really depends what you want from this heat pump. As you can see, it's very quiet. Uh, it's a nice looking heat pump side discharge. Uh, this is the condenser. Uh, I had to add some refrigerant to the system to adjust the subcooling on it. But all in all, this is how it looks. This is how you have to hook up your wires. There's nothing crazy about it. As long as you do uh, the proper installation method uh, and, and use all those stuff, uh, you're going to be fine. Okay, I hope you guys all, all enjoyed the, this short video about Napoleon heat pump and how they have to be set up uh, with the dip switches, the wiring connections. And by the way, for a two and three ton heat pump like this one, uh, the breaker recommended breaker size is 30 uh, amp. Double pull, obviously, 240, but 30 amp breakers is what you're looking for. And that's about it.